diary and I wanted to do a video on how I blow these out with nitrogen because it's come up with a couple people. So first we've got the old compressor out and this is a side-by-side -side LG, no control board on the back. I hook up a process adapter to the Yoder loop connection on the high side and then I put one on the capillary tube. And then this, we're actually gonna use it to flow nitrogen through the system when we're done. Um, I don't like blowing the low side out backwards because I don't like pushing oil through the cap tube. I feel like you're more likely to clog it. All right, so first we're gonna hook our nitrogen up to the high side. And then I run it through at like 150-ish PSI. And this has a flow regulator on, so I gotta open that. And I like to Some guys use a paper towel on the end to keep that oil. I'm not getting hardly anything out of this, so I think we're good to go on the high side, which promises, or which means that the evacuation on this should go pretty well. So now we're going to hook it up to the low side, and the cap tube is going to restrict how fast the nitrogen flows through the system. So even though this is full blast at about 150 PSI, my regulator's off a little bit, it's barely trickling out. And that's where the capping comes in, in handy. Because if you let it just trickle through, you won't blow anything out. But if you cap it with your finger and then let go, it'll build pressure. And releasing that pressure, that poof that comes out, will carry a lot of oil out of the system. Now this one is pretty dry. All right, just wanted to show you guys that. And these are Robin Air process adapters, process tube adapter kit. And they are well worth the money. I use them on pretty much every single sealed system job I do.